welcome to Yoga in the Park with our Selective today, session four. So it's a bit of a stinker, but underneath the, uh, the shade, it is much cooler. It is much cooler. And, and welcome to our viewers um, who couldn't make it here today live. Um, so I'm glad to see you on the mat uh, during a playback. And uh, today's, uh, we're, um, sorry, today's flow is uh, it's going to be around 45, 50 minutes. It's an all level flow. And we're going to be building on some of the things that we've been working on in the last few weeks. A few standing poses as well as uh, some hip openers and uh, the leg openers. Perfect for golf. Perfect to be able to work on that swing on the 18th or 19th hole, you know, except for the drinking. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, invite you to, to take a, a seat, a comfortable, easy seat. You could cross the legs if that's in your practice or even if you wanted to try whacking some blocks underneath your knees. Oh, yeah, we've got a couple of different ones. You know, or if it's uncomfortable, whatever works for you, all right? So as always, um, is, is we don't want to be in pain. We, uh, discomfort's all right, but um, we always move to what we're comfortable with on that particular day. Every day is a little bit different, and some, some days, days there's more niggles than others. But if you're in pain, back it off because you don't want to be in pain and you want to reduce the amount of injuries. So thanks for telling me about your injuries uh, uh, today. And um, if you do need, uh, we'll provide some modifications for some of the other moves like we have in previous moves. Okay, so if you wanna just quickly close your eyes down or take a soft gaze, we're gonna arrive at our mat. All right, so I invite you to go internal. No particular breaths at the moment. All right, uh, just feel the weight of gravity uh, on your sit bones as we connect to the earth and ground down. All right, just see where we are. Maybe have a couple of jiggles just to, to see how that body's feeling, grounding down with both sit bones and the earth. And I'm gonna start inviting you to uh, join me with a, a couple of breaths to arrive on the mat. Um, and while we're taking these breaths, you can set your own intent. So we're gonna take a count of three through the nose and then slowly through the mouth. Two more like this. One more. Now we're just gonna keep going in your own time. And I'm gonna invite you to maybe engage your Ujjayi breath or ocean breath if that's in your practice which means the uh, constricting of the throat as we breathe out, and it has a sort of ocean sound. The sound that, makes, that it makes if you're going to be placing a shell by your ear. So this is the breath that connects us to our practice, or we'll be aiming to be able to connect it in. And it's always something that you can come back to during your practice if you feel like you're getting lost or if um, you're feeling overwhelmed for whatever reason. Now, everything is an invitation, so there's no um, pressure to do any of the moves. If you can't, we'll modify, but uh, it's your practice, and I'm just here to guide you through that time. All right, so if we can open up our eyes a little bit now. All right, shake it off. All right, I'm sweating now, so my arms are about to slip off here. <laughs> oh, no, the sweat, oh, I forgot to, uh, Press start on my timer. That's cool. All right. So what we're going to do is going to we're going to warm up the back a little bit in a different way. We're going to start doing a few. There's a few twists as well that we'll try and do, and also bends. So we're going to be warming up our back. So from here, take your arms out to rest. If you want to put your feet out, Terry, if that that's cool, if that works, if that's more comfortable for you. All right. Okay. Hands up. Looking to the sky, looking to the fingers, All right? We're going to be imagining we're holding a beach ball or a block and we're going to breathe out, hands come to ground, All right? Again, palms up as we're reaching up for the sky. Now we're going to be holding the beach ball and down. We're going to do this two more times. Two, one, inhale, pause, two, three, exhale. 
one more time. Two, three, exhale. All right, now this one's a little bit different. We're gonna do a few more of these ones. It's again, with me, raise your arms. Now bringing up into what they call cactus. Open your arms up, All right? That's the cactus there, All right? Or hold them, hold them up. <laughs> Hands up, <laughs> don't move. This is a robbery. And then breathe in and out, back down. So that's the move. We're opening up, opening up our chest on the in breath and exhaling, closing the shoulders down on the out breath. We're going to do this three more times. Out, inhale, raise the arms, exhale, lower. Two more, inhale. Cactus the arms, look up if that's in your practice today without dumping the neck. And exhale on the ground. One more. Inhale, reach up high this time. Open the shoulders out wide. Excellent. Don't move, this is a robbery. Inhale and exhale, hands on the ground. We're gonna go into a twist now, so we're gonna go up and rotate to your left. Hands on the hip, yeah, that's it. Long spine looking up, right? You can look to where your fingers are or keep the gaze to that side. Again, inhale, hands up and rotate to the other side. Two full breaths in this posture. One, two, inhale to come up. And one more time each side. On the right, lengthen the spine, that's it. And then just feel where the air's going when we inhale. Actually, let's do two more full breaths in this posture. And just see where the air blows and see if your ribs expand where the stretch is. Inhaling now and rotating to the other side. Excellent. That's the way. If you want to get a little bit more stretch, you can grab your hand around here and then sort of pull a little bit as we inhale, lengthen and exhale, twist. But we don't need to go to the full amount every time. Excellent work there. Two more. Last one. Inhaling. And exhale. Excellent. So let's now make our way onto all fours, onto tabletop. And we're going to do a little bit of ab work here while we warm up the spine. Actually, let's warm up the spine first a little bit more. <laughs> all right. So as usual, hands splayed slightly, shoulder widths apart. Excellent there. Um, hands underneath shoulders. And if we look down on our knees, same width as our hands and you can tuck or untuck your toes whatever feels more comfortable for you so we're in the uh, and we're, our gaze is to 45 degrees so if you put your hand 45 degrees forward like this that's where your gaze is all right so neutral gaze and we're going to be doing a few cat cows so inhaling dipping the chest opening up the shoulders and our belly all right and then exhaling as we push up the ground away from us, tuck our tailbone, and then our head comes down, gaze to our knees. No, no, dip the head. No, that's it, come straight, and then, and then just tuck your head, that's it. That's it, we don't need to go down at the moment, that, that'll come. And then inhale, come back to neutral. So when we do it, when we push up, we just need to dip the head like this, instead of dipping the arms. All right, so we'll, we'll do that again a few more times. So inhale, Coming into cow, so we dip our belly, dip the belly, other way, yep, that's the cow, yep, yeah, that's right, that's all cool, we're doing this, taking it slow, and then we're exhaling, pushing away from our hands, pulling our belly in, and pushing our spine up, and then releasing the head as the last bit, so then tuck your head a little bit, that's it, inhale again, switching that over, back to cat, uh, sorry, to cow, dipping the belly, and then pushing away, bending the back, spine up. Excellent there, Terry. We're gonna do this two more times. Inhale, and we dip our belly. 
That's it, look at the gaze, perfect. And exhale, fantastic work there. Excellent, let's meet back in neutral. So back to neutral tabletop, fantastic. We're gonna do a couple of circles as well now. Let's try that, how's the hands? Do you wanna give them a shake out? They're okay. So if you look here first, what we're gonna be doing is bending the elbows on the inhale and then circling around like this. So we're just opening up our chest. Okay, so we're gonna inhale and we're gonna to rotate to the left three times. Inhale, down, we can push our hips out, fantastic work. And then come back up. So inhale, on the down, and then exhale as we come around. One more time, inhale, exhale, warming up our back. And now turning it around the other way to the right. Inhale, and then exhale, fantastic work, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. And this is you feeling your back. So whatever it needs today is the way that is what your back needs there with the movement, right? And the last one is the side cat cows as well. So hands again, we're just gonna be looking and um, looking our head to the right and then pushing our hips to the right, uh, looking to the left, sorry, and then the other way around. So keeping our head in the neutral position we're doing side, yes, excellent. So inhale to neutral, exhale, push out. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, to side, side to side. So like you're wagging your tail. Side to side, that's it. Amazing, that's it. Beautiful, and then go that, do that two more times each side. Yep. Fantastic work. This one here, yes, last one, fantastic. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add, um, add a uh, baby pose to it. So take your knees and put your hands, another sort of hand forward. So we're extending it a little bit more, a little bit further. All right, so from here, like we're doing in our warm up, we're gonna inhale, and push our way over to our hands, right? And then we're gonna push away from our hands and then push, push, push our uh, tailbone back and come into baby child's pose. Fantastic, now you can get your fingers if you want a little bit more warm up and activate them. So we're getting our fingertips and we're pushing them into the ground, right? And then now we're coming forward, keeping it low, palms back down and we're going to push our chest forward. So it's like a half one, right? Like in our sun salutations. And we're gonna round our back, push back from our hands back into child's pose. That's it, we're gonna do this two more times. Inhaling as we come up, look up with our chest and exhaling as we push back into child's pose. Perfect. One more time, inhale. Keep it low, slight back bend, or in our cow, and bending our back, coming into child's pose one more time. Fantastic work here. Bring our hands in a little bit more. We're going to now push away from our hands, come up on our knees into our first downward dog. Push away with your hands onto the knees, tuck the toes, fantastic work. Now from here, because it's our first one, we don't need to have our feet come down. You can bend the knees and it's all about pushing away from your hands and keeping your gaze to your feet. Pushing your hands away, keeping, yeah, and lengthening the spine. Great work, Terry, that's, that's it, mate, perfect. So we're gonna take two breaths here before coming up. One. And from here, take lots of little steps on the empty breath to meet your hands until your feet meet your hands. And then from here, we're going to take a halfway lift. Inhale like a bookshelf, exhaling, bending the knees again. All right, tucking the head and then inhaling, coming up, hands up. Looking to the sky and then hands in prayer down the center line. Perfect. All right, we're gonna shake that out quickly. 
I'm already sweating because it's so hot. How you going, mate? All right, so let's go into some sun salutations. From here, look at our feet, shoulder width apart. Come forward of the mat a little bit more to the front side of the mat. All right, we're gonna lift our toes and place them down, feeling our weight evenly on the heel and the toes. Fantastic work there. We're gonna lengthen our spine. We can feel our heels spiking into the ground and we're gonna grow tall. Thinking from the spike, our heels, all the way to the crown of our head. From here, inhale, raise the hands, hold onto the beach ball. Exhaling, bending the knees, hinging at the hips, belly to thighs for the first one. Our hands could go on the ground or on the block, whichever works for you. I'll go to block for the first one now. If that works for you, right. And then inhaling, pushing away from the block and straightening our legs. All right. You could do that. You could grab the block as well. Try that. No, no, you hold on to the block and then on, on its end. Yes. All right, so if that brings the floor up to you, all right. And then exhaling, let's go back down. Bending the knees. We're going to do this one more time in, in halfway lift. Pushing up to halfway lift one more time. Fantastic work. And exhaling. From here, making our way down to all fours. In our longer, in our longer modified um, tabletop. And then from here, breathe in. Stick the chest out. Beauty. And then exhaling, tuck the toes and we're coming up into downward dog. Push up into downward dog. There we go, pushing away from the hands and lengthening the spine. That's the main one. Not the other way, Terry. There we go. Yeah, yes, like that. So look at your feet. Amazing. All right, and then now we're going to walk with little steps until our hands meet our feet. Or you could walk your hands back. That's, as well. That's okay as well. Whichever works for you today. Inhale, halfway lift. Or the bookshelf. Exhaling, hands back down, knees to, uh, belly to thighs, and inhaling, hands come up as we hinge up from our hips, looking at our fingers in the sky, and then exhale. Fantastic work. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. Ready? Inhale to set, feet, hands, and inhale as we come up. Hands together, exhaling down the center line, belly to thighs, forward fold, you can grab your block. Inhaling, pushing away from the block and straightening the legs and back to halfway lift. We're gonna do this two more times. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straighten the legs, excellent. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Move the block out of the way. Hands meet mat. And we'll make our way to our kneeling position. Fantastic. Right, from here we set. Inhale. Breathe forward. And open up the chest, looking forward. Great work. We can push back now. And we're going to come up to... Downward dog, we'll meet in downward dog. Beautiful. Now, downward dog could be uh, feet apart a little bit. More. There we go, yes. All right, from here we'll take five breaths. When you breathe out on these ones, open your mouth and push with your belly. Cleansing breaths, two more. Last one. So from here, inhale, and we're gonna bring our right foot forward, bring your right foot forward to meet our hand. Fantastic. Okay, so bring your blocks as well by, by each side, just as you need. All right, so our knee is bent. 
and we can see our toes, our hands are in line with our toes. Excellent work there. Now we're going to just come up here. That's it, so that pose, hands by our sides. So this now is our low lunge, right? Anjay Asana. So this one here, we've got our low lunge or crescent, low crescent lunge. Our foot, you could untuck your toe if you want or you can keep your toe tucked, whichever is more preferable for you today. All right, our um, hips, our, our, our tailbone's tucked slightly, and our shoulders are back, looking forward, or on your hips, whichever way it works better. So inhaling, hands up, and then exhaling. As we come back, we're going to push back on our foot, our front foot, straighten the leg a little bit. You might need to adjust your heel. All right, now pull your foot back. Pulling your foot back, we're going to hinge from the hip. So this is where you may need your blocks, right? To raise that floor by our sides. And we're not reaching for our knee with our head. We're just tucking it down. So your belly might actually be fantastic, all right? So that's the half splits. We're gonna go from that movement. So you could hold on to the blocks if that works for you. So inhaling, hands up. Exhaling, opening up to cactus. Inhaling, hands back up, and exhaling as we push our tailbone back, straighten the leg, that's it. Now pull our feet back to help you straighten that leg. Keep a micro bend in the knee. So your front foot, that's it, lift it up towards you. But we can straighten the leg a little bit more. And with your, with your blocks, it may help that you bring them closer to your bent knee. Uh, you get a little bit more height, or even you could have your height here. That might work a little bit better. Fantastic. Does that a little bit easier? All right, and then from here, we lengthen our spine, and then we could just push forward a little bit. That's it. And then inhaling, bend the front knee again. Inhaling, push forward, foot down. Now we're gonna straighten up, straighten up, and then lift our hands. Exhaling to cactus, fantastic work. Inhaling up and then one more time. Hands come down, we're pushing, plant the hands, pushing away from the hands and then pulling our foot back and meeting our belly to our thigh. Fantastic, half splits. All right, so this is low lunge to half splits movement. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, coming into the lunge. Pushing our hips forward, looking up, and then exhaling. <sighs> Fantastic work. All right, so look at your knee. Keep that straight, so we're gonna push it out a little bit. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, it's, it's challenging, isn't it? Inhaling, and then hands down, plant. Then we push back on our uh, tailbone, as well as pull our foot back. Fantastic. Fantastic work there, Terry. All right, inhaling. Last time, setting, hips forward, looking up, exhaling, <sighs> inhale, down to our last halfway splits on that side. Fantastic work. So straighten the leg a little bit, straighten the leg, pull your foot back. There we go. So we're, you may feel the stretch in our hamstring. All right, fantastic work. So let's come back now to neutral. To all fours. Let's rest that leg a little bit. Do the Beyonce. Asana is not really an asana, but we just wag our tail a little bit. Loosen that up. All right. And then we're going to come into the push up, tuck the toes into downward dog. Two more. Last one. <sighs> Inhale to set and exhale. We're gonna come and bring our foot forward and meet in that lunge position. Grab your blocks. Perfect, excellent, that's it. So let's look at that, how that looks. So our knee is um, perfect, yeah, that's it, great work. So we just need to watch out for our knee coming in a little bit. So what you wanna do is have to see 
if your knee and you could see your toes, like that's that's where we're looking. So that's the correct alignment. And then your hips are facing forward, fantastic. Now you can grow tall there, that's it. All right, so that's our low lunge. And you could feel that sort of, that hip. See if you could just move your hip a little bit and just see if you could tilt that a little bit. You feeling that? All right, so from there we're gonna tilt, hands down. We're gonna come up, hands looking up to the sky and opening up, exhale, cactus. Fantastic work, squeezing the shoulders and then looking up again and bringing down our hands down first. Then we're gonna push our tailbone back as well as pull our foot back and straighten the leg. Straighten the leg a little bit more. There we go, yes, you might need to move your foot. And that's okay to have a longer lunge when we come back out. So one more breath here. And belly to thighs and then inhale, bend the front leg again, foot down, and then we're looking forward like this, inhaling. From here as well, as you might even notice, it might help to push down on your back foot. Right, so if you're pushing down on the back foot a little bit or on your toes, that sort of helps keep your steep some stability. And then exhaling to cactus, pulling our shoulder blades back and giving them a bit of a squeeze, <sighs> opening up the chest as well, and then inhaling, looking at the hands, exhale as we bring our hands down, plant, butt back as well as straightening the leg. That's it, and pull the toes back. The, yes, excellent, that's the best one yet. Fantastic work, let's take two here. And notice the back of your leg, that's where you may feel that stretch happening. And we pull the toes back so that it really lengthens all the way through from our heel, all the way through to our, um, to, uh, our um, hamstring. So inhale again, foot down, we're planting the foot, bending, and straightening up our body. Fantastic, growing up taller. All right, shoulders are back, tilting our pelvis. Inhale as we bring our hands up and then exhaling. Yes, fantastic work, amazing. Inhale, reaching for the sky again. I'm gonna look at your form. Hands down as we bring to plant. Amazing work. And then we exhale as we push our tailbone back and lift our foot. There we go, amazing. And that's it, nice, long, lengthy back. That's great, great form there. All right, one more time. Inhale to set, coming back up, lunging. And at this lunge, just for a moment before we do this last one, when we're, our hips are forward, you may feel the front, the, the stretch of the front, and that's stretching our psoas, which is just absolutely amazing to be able to stretch that out, especially when we've been sitting for a while, as well as when you're, you're doing your golf swing as well. We've got a bird on our camera, hello. All right, so inhale, exhaling, inhale, last one, plant hands, tailbone back, micro bend in the knee, pulling the legs, yes, that's perfect. All right, so with that, you, you can choose to uh, lock out your arms or you can bend them back a little bit if that helps as well, All right, to get a little bit more stretch. Fantastic work, inhale, come back to normal, all right, we're gonna quickly move our knee back to the back. We can get rid of the blocks and coming up now to downward facing dog for three full cleansing breaths. One. Two. Last one, push away with the hands. Three. And then walking up on the empty breath, meeting our hands, All right, two halfway lifts, growing, supporting the leg like a bookshelf, <sighs> bending the knees as we exhale. All right, inhale, one more time. <sighs> Exhaling, so this time try and push your tailbone up and straighten the legs a little bit. There we go, fantastic, all right, and as we now come up to normal, come all the way up, looking at the hands, bringing together. Fantastic work. We're gonna hook into our warrior series now and introduce 
or a standing series, sorry, we're going to introduce triangle pose. Tri triangle pose. Okay. So follow me and you'll be right. <laughs> so from here, I'll give you the cues. All right. So from here, feet width, hand width, uh, so shoulder width apart, sorry, hand width. What am I talking about? All right. Mountain pose there. Yes, that's it. Feeling okay? All right, setting, we're gonna grow tall a little bit. Hands up. And exhaling as we move our foot back to the side and have, lower, lower. so you move your, move your left foot. So turn your body to the long edge of the mat. Fantastic work there. And I'm gonna to come towards uh, you. All right, so I'm gonna to come towards you so you can see what we're doing. So from here, all right, from here, hands on hips, feet double shoulder width apart. Fantastic work. All right, so from here we're going to set hands on shoulders. No, so hands on hips. We're going to move. You're going to move your left foot, right, and I'll move my right foot. So just mirror me. Inhale, and then exhale. Oop. We're just rotating that around. So one foot's facing the long edge of the mat. One foot is facing the short edge of the mat. From here with our hips. What I want you to do now is grab your hand and point forward, right? You're giving someone directions on how they're gonna go. And from here, inhale as we reach forward, reach forward, reach forward until you can't. Now you're gonna start rotating down towards your foot. Fantastic work. Excellent. Now look towards me. All right, that's it. That's triangle pose, All right? A teapot and a kettle. Inhale, back up. All right, fantastic work. So points to note as we come down. So you might actually, it might help with a, uh, a block. All right, so we're gonna go again. Inhale, hand up. All right, we look like a teapot and a kettle looking over at our hand. And we're gonna exhale, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward till we can't anymore. So straighten your front leg, straighten the front leg. Now, perfect. Now micro bend in that knee, a little bend in the knee, that's it. And then we're going to rotate. Reach for the ground. That's it. Now you, you could be feeling your side body as well. And then so push for away with your toes, that front toe, right? And then we're pushing away with our other foot as well onto the blade of our foot. Now look at me. All right, so we're gonna try and peel that shoulder back, your right shoulder. There we go. Fantastic, two breaths. So breathe with me. That's it. All right, inhale. All right, now inhale again. Come back up to the top. And right, so let's just, we're trying to, um, usually this is just a build up to, to the full movement because I want to keep our feet in that right position. So from here, we're going to straighten, straighten the leg a little. We're pushing away. So when I say pushing away with the toes, we can imagine that we're pushing away with the toes and that helps us straighten this front leg. And as well as we're keeping that micro bend in the knee so it's not locked out, right? So we're not going to cause any knee pain. So from here again, Teapot and kettle. All right, we're giving someone directions. All right, and inhale as we reach forward, reach forward, and then exhale as we push away with our foot. Right, rotate down, and at the bottom. Right, well, you don't need to get all the way to the bottom. That's it. Now look towards me as you peel that sense of peeling the shoulder open. Two breaths here. One, two. Inhale. Coming back under control, perfect. And straightening the foot. Amazing. From here, just wiggle the, it's all in the hips. It's all in that golf swing. All right, all right, see that? All right, from here, we are gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna stay in this position and um, we'll, I'll guide you through, yeah? So just let me quickly move this though as well while we're doing this for our viewers at home. All right, from here, hands on hips. We're going to inhale, go tall, and exhale as we just rotate the foot. Perfect, so the front foot, right, when we see this base, if you can push, it, push against this leg, we're pushing against that blade of the foot. Same, same with the toes again, you can sort of give them a bit of a um, wiggle, and that's where we're pushing from the ball of the foot 
from here. So fantastic work. So now you're looking at me, rotating your shoulders again. Rotate your hips. So this hip's opening up. It's a, it's a great hip opener, right? From here. Teapot and kettle. Right, we're looking at directions and we're inhale, reaching forward, reaching forward, reaching forward. Fantastic. Now we're going to rotate. Reach down for the ground, push away with our toes. That's it. As far as we can, you can use the block if that's in your practice at home and peel the shoulders away. I'll peel the shoulder back. Fantastic. Two more. That's all right for the first one. We'll warm up to it. Inhale. Coming back up the way that we came and back down. All right, so you should be feeling it in the back leg here. Also, um, having a sense of the hips opening up as well. And then when we reach, you're feeling a little bit of a side stretch as well. So it's working a few things at the same time. All right, so one, two more times actually. We've got, <laughs> righty. Inhale to grow tall, looking, shoulders back. That's it, perfect. <sighs> Giving directions. Reaching forward and then tipping the cup of tea into the kettle and that last bit looking at me. Fantastic work too. And then inhaling, coming back up and hands on hips. Woo. Doing it one more time because I'm feeling that heat now. My toes, I should have put sunscreen on my toes. <laughs> all right nice and loose with the hips we'll do some hip loosening ones as well as we get back to the mat so last one of our standing series today in triangle pose growing tall that's it looking giving directions inhaling as we reach forward in reach forward and then when we can't anymore we start to rotate down all right looking at the feet that's it micro bend in the knee and last bit is peeling that shoulder back, that's it, fantastic work. Last one, inhale. Oh. All right, rest. Okay, so I'm gonna reset over here. Hey. And we're gonna to come to face the short edge of the mat. The shade. How are you going, mate? Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> If you need me to slow down at any stage, let me know. Fantastic. All right, so from here, we're gonna be getting back down to our knees and working on some hip openers. Okay, but we'll start off by doing a good old downward dog just to get back into the flow on this side of the mat so that's our standing series for the day inhaling and pushing away into downward dog gaze to our toes fantastic lengthening the spine up should be able to now have a little bit more stretch after doing those ones in your uh, in the back of your legs fantastic work there all right so inhaling and then bringing your right foot forward to your hand and then coming into that low lunge position again. That's it, yep, cool, low lunge, yep, perfect. So from there, if that works for you, is bring your foot to the outside of your right hand. To the outside, other side, switch sides, yep, that's it. Fantastic work. So what you'll be looking at now is your hands and your weight is over your shoulders like you would be, and then your foot slightly wider. This should give you a sense of opening up your hips. Fantastic work there. All right, so you could actually bend your foot back a little bit further, your back one. That's it. All right, so we're stretching this out now. We're stretching our hip flexor. We're, yeah, we're pushing forward. So if you look at me, excellent. Our hands are over our hips. Right, and then you can push our leg back a little bit. Fantastic. But now we're keeping our eyes there. That's it. So we're opening up the hips here. All right, and now if we have a look, we're going to come to the side blade of our foot. So if you imagine grabbing your foot and just peeling it open like this, all right, your knee should follow, yes? From there, just do a couple of movements around, around the hip socket. So we're just going to lubricate our hip socket. So whatever works for you today. We're just opening up the hip a little bit. 
and this is a nice gentle way to be able to do that right so we circle around like like me Terry and have a look because you can just circle around in circles perfect mate and the other way amazing now switch sides that's the way and then coming back to here all right from here we're going to do a twist all right this hand your your hand by your foot is we're going to bring it up and we're going to reach for the sky so like like me here i'll change to this side hands by here this hand that's by your hand we're just going to rotate around and then reach for the sky two breaths here and then bringing it back down amazing work how's the knees ants <laughs> did it bite you yeah. stinging <laughs> all right let's change sides now all right so bring the hand up to the outside of the hand so did i say bring the hand bring the foot Jeez, hand and feet andy all right <laughs> okay so we're looking forward again so you could actually put your rear knee back a little bit and then and then straighten up your foot so our foot's flat on the ground perfect amazing work there all right so that's that's our sort of lot longer sorry our lengthier runner's lunge all right so from here even if you wanted to get the blocks we can stretch that and we're stretching the front of the hips all right so we're leaning forward a little bit and we're stretching the front of the hamstring all right amazing work and then we can put the blocks down if you want for the balance and then we could peel our foot open and then do the circles with our hips and just doing the circles small circles it doesn't need to be huge all right in your time do several circles one way and then several the other and we're lubricating that ball and socket all right no today switch sides one more time all right and then from there we stop place the foot back down all right and our hand and we're gonna rotate and lift up so from here that's it great work and then going lift the hand up and then reach that for the sky amazing it right, doesn't need to go all the way up you know just whatever your movement is today two breaths here and then back down fantastic work one more time each side surface is here we can lubricate our uh, wag the dog as well uh, this isn't a yoga move but it's good to be able to reverse what we've just done and hopefully you're feeling those your, your hips and the ball sockets when you rotate around feeling a little bit more lubricated than what they were at the start all right from here front right foot again up to the outside of our right hand coming into that low lunge or the runner's lunge all right foot back foot flat on the floor all right so from here you could use your blocks and we're going to come up now look forward opening up the chest and uh, and look for that stretch in the front of our left leg all right, our hamstring, very important. All right, two breaths here. And then moving the blocks away, just out of the way a little bit, placing the hand for a little bit of um, support, grabbing your hand by the front foot, peeling that open a little bit, and then doing our small circles with our hips maybe you might get a little bit of a larger rotation this time if not that's okay whatever works for you today All right. and just notice where it stretches as you're coming around and doing your rotations a couple more each way All right. it's good to be able to keep that body weight over the hand so fantastic work Last thing again, we can move our hand back down and then inhale. Oh, we'll do the, ah, stuff it. We'll, uh, we'll come back to <laughs> that, that. That's all right, that's all right. We'll, uh, we were going to do a twist, but that's cool. Oh, no, we're going to do the twist. We're going to do the twist. Yeah. All right, come back up to the hand. Come and meet the hand. 
That's it. Foot back, foot back again. There we go. From here, we're going to inhale, rotate. All right, and open the wings up, opening up our chest. All right, the side of the chest, and coming back down. All right, now we're just going to see what you feel here. All right, so just push back on your hands a little bit, and then pull your, pull your, come onto your heels. So now. This is like a little bit of a modified what we did earlier, but we're really loosening up, we've loosened up that the hips, right? So now we're gonna give the other side a bit of TLC, coming down to all fours. We nearly skimped out, didn't we, Terry? Nearly. That time, nearly. That was the best <laughs> Skimping out, the skimpies. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the skimpies. Oh, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. For those of you in the back there, we were just talking about what had happened at, at a certain RSL. Anyway, um, I might have to edit that bit out. I don't want to be causing any shockwaves, right? Okay, so from here, we've got our... Yeah, now we've flattened your foot at the back, so you could lengthen that up a little bit more. Right, and we're pushing our hips forward, and you should be able to feel, or look for that stretch in the front ham, in that hamstring. Fantastic, now chest forward, shoulders back. That's it, without dumping the head back. That's it, neutral gaze. From here, one more breath. Fantastic. Okay, dump this out of the way, the blocks. I'm gonna get the hand, I'm gonna peel the foot open. All right, and you feel like, as you move it, see if that you could feel your hip sort of open up and we're doing some rotations now. So whatever's comfortable for your knee as well. So I need to bring mine in a little bit because that was a little bit uncomfortable. And then rotate the hips around again. All right. We're just loosening up and lubricating those hips. Okay, now foot back down, hand back down. And we're not skimping out this time, lengthening our, thing, our um, spine and inhaling as we come up. And we're opening up like the wings of a bird looking at the ends of our fingers, pushing down on that front foot, right, and exhaling, coming back down to tabletop, and then onto our, onto our tailbone, <laughs> onto an, into a seated position. Make sure that you're, um, ah, uh, yeah, come over here, mate, come over, I'm gonna move this back a little bit. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, yeah, I know, right, man? Okay. Yes. All right, fantastic. Put back that back to me, which I'd forgotten about. So you, you're in most of it, mate. <laughs> All right, cool. So from here, take an easy seat. We're going to do head to knee. So from here, staff pose, feet in front. Amazing work. Now, bring your left foot back and place the uh, bottom of the foot on the inside of the thigh. Fantastic work. You could also use these again as well to bring the ground up for support. Okay, from here, we're going to rotate our chest forward, pull our toes back, and then from here, we're going to inhale and exhaling, reaching up on our leg, bellies, our, imagining our, our um, belly button is going to try and touch the thighs. Uh, but once we're here, then we could release the head. Fantastic. All right. Maybe look for a side stretch in the side of your body. Pull your toes back. And then with each breath, we back off a little bit and then exhale. <sighs> Trying to reach or have a sense of reaching a bit further each time. One more. <sighs> All right. Fantastic, and, and that is good to be able to bend your knee like that as well, if that's more comfortable for you today. And then inhaling, last leg. Switching sides. Fantastic. All right, no, the cramp. <laughs> okay. You want to put the block underneath that? Yes. So then from there, we set again, lengthen our spine. All right, 
and then from here we breathe out and we reach forward. Reach, 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 reach. All right, fantastic. And then we could loosen our head. Releasing the head's always the last bit once we've reached our maximum for, the, for whatever it is on the day. All right, two more inhales. So inhale, back it off, and exhale, reach forward a little bit more. One more, inhale, and exhale. Inhaling, to bring it up, shaking it off. This might work for you. We can, we can uh, if you put your hands to the back here like this, lean back a little bit, put your knees up, and they call them window wipers, all right? So we're just gonna dip our feet. They don't need to reach the ground, and we're just rotating. It's all right for that sit bone to come off as well. We're just loosening up. Rounding off our practice today. Should we do some abs? No, <laughs> no, abs are done for the day. So come, if you um, scooch forward a little bit. All right. And then maybe under control, come down, grab your, grab your strap. So from here, all right. Keep your knee, put knee, one knee bent if that works for you. Strap it to your right foot, put the strap into your right foot. And we're gonna straighten our legs. So we'll meet with the straightened legs. Slight micro bend in the knee, right? And if it's in your practice today, is lengthen out your left foot, left leg. If that's in your practice today. Right, perfect. From here, we're going to come to the right. right we're gonna open up our foot. Right, keep the tension there. As far as it'll go, that's it as far as it'll comfortably go and we're uh, flexing the foot perfect and inhaling inhaling back to the top switching the hand grip and we're going to pull it over to our other side that's it only a little bit you feel this you feel the stretch in the other side of the leg and the outer part of that leg All right, inhale again come to neutral to the top Switch hands and using another hand for support, come around to the right. All right, we're imagining our hips opening right up. This last little bit, all that work would have really opened up the hips and back to neutral. Last time now, moving over to the left. Inhaling to the top, bend that bottom foot. That'll help us, and we'll switch legs. All right. Meeting with the foot lengthened, peeling our toes back, and then now we straighten our right leg. That's in your practice today. And we inhale to lengthen, and exhale, bring the leg around to your left. Opening up the hips, perfect. Two, three, inhale, back up to the top. Fantastic work there. Switch hands, switch hands, and then bring it around to the other side. Amazing. All right, feeling the stretch on the outside of that leg. All right, inhale, back to neutral. Last time each side, exhaling, opening up the leg. All right, giving our hips some TLC today. Inhaling, come back up to neutral. And then exhaling, bring it around to the right. Amazing. Inhaling, back down. All right, foot out. Take the foot out of the strap. All right, this one here is now, it's called happy baby. Have you done happy baby before? All right, so from here, we might just take one foot today to start off with. So from here, same arm, same foot. Grab the outside of the foot. Same arm, same foot. There we go. And then from there, leaning back, we're going to try and lengthen our leg. There we go, that's it. Boom, that's half happy baby. Excellent, now put that foot down. Other foot and shoulders back, 
we're going to try and bend the knee and push away from the hand. That's it. Bringing the knee out, fantastic. And coming back down, both knees down, uh, both legs down on the ground. All right, and now we're going to come into final resting pose. So you could lengthen your legs. We're going to do a couple of breaths here. All the work's done. You can sort of, uh, if you're away from that sun a little bit, all right, maybe put that over your eye. <laughs> all right. Oh, you're right in the sun. All right, we're going to do 10 breaths here. All right, final resting pose. Usually you would give it a couple of minutes. But if you could close down your eyes, don't worry about shaping your breathing now. Let your body sink into the ground and just listen for the noise or the sounds around you. Coming back into our body now, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe stretch up overhead and give yourself a full body stretch, whatever works for you. Now, pull your knees up and curl up into a ball, give yourself a hug. All right, give yourself a hug for coming today. All right and letting go and rolling to your preferred side on the side in what they call a fetal stretch or fetal pose right? a restorative pose for a couple of breaths before pushing up on your hands and meeting in easy seat Fantastic work today. So now, I'm not sure if you've uh, tried OM before. Have you tried OM before? Yeah. All right, so OM, for, for those of you at home, is, uh, is it's about opening up the throat chakra, right? And it also helps with the vibrations there. And it's literally OM, all right? So we're going to do one of those after a cleansing breath, okay? So with me, or you could pandemime it in your head if you're not wanting to make the noise today. So we'll do a cleansing breath first. <sighs> Prepare for OM. Inhale. OM. Bring your hands to prayer. Bring them by your chest. Peace with what's in your heart. Bring them up to thumbs to lips. Peace be in speech, what we say internally and externally. And peace be in mind, what we think is so, so, so important. Thank you so much for joining me and allowing me to guide you in your practice today. Namaste. Is there, if you've got any questions afterwards, I'm going to be hanging around. And for you, of those of you online, if you've got any um, questions or insights or something that you'd like me to clarify, please let me know in the comments below and I'll create something that helps you out. Have a good day.